We just got some letters. Yeah, we just got some letters. I wonder who they're from. What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome to episode two of Mail Time with Matt. Today, we're going to be looking at the letters that I received in the month of August. Now, I will say this. If you guys sent me something during, like, you know, mid or late August, and it's not in here, just know that uh, the mail, for whatever reason, was kind of slow towards the later half of August. Um... I got a couple of messages from people telling me to look for letters that I haven't received yet and also I haven't even gotten the one up box for August yet so not sure why that is but um, I'm assuming the mail was just slow and if whatever you guys sent me is not in this pile I will get to it in the September video. That being said I got a stack of mail to go through so let's get started shall we? This first letter is by Gabriel Ducote. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he sent me a letter as well as a pre-stamped envelope to, uh, you know, send something back to him. So I think he actually wanted me to sign this and send it back to him. Anyways, the letter reads, Dear Matt, I've been watching your videos for the longest time now. My first video game was Zelda, and when I saw your Ocarina of Time videos, I became hooked on your channel. Your content is some of the best, or some of the, if not the best, on YouTube. I love your videos and I've been a subscriber for three years now. Keep up the great work and keep doing what you're doing. From Gabriel. P.S. Could you please sign this letter and send it back in the self-stamped envelope? If so, thank you very much. Dude, I got you. In fact, I already signed this, so uh, I will send this back to you uh, in the next mailing cycle. As soon as this video is over, I will go and put it in my mailbox. So, um, yeah, sending like a pre-stamped envelope is not required. But if you want to like expedite the process of getting whatever you send me back or getting like an autograph sent back to you, uh, definitely take a, uh, take a page out of Gabriel's book and send me a pre-stamp envelope. That would definitely help out a lot and I would appreciate it. Alright, so, uh, next thing is by, oh, it's, hanging, it's actually stuck to another letter there, but, uh, next letter is by Michelle Lynn, and that's actually a name I recognize from both Twitter and the YouTube comments, it's a very active, uh, uh, viewer of my channel, and uh, looks like there is a letter as well as um, another letter with a picture inside. So I think I'm going to save this one for a second and look at the main letter first. And uh, this is dated August 8th, 2016. Hey Matt, like a lot of people, I found your channel by looking for a walkthrough of Ocarina of Time. I was just looking to watch someone play the game because I missed it so much. My game had been lost somewhere during a move to a new house. Oh, that stinks. But I fell in love with your channel and started watching more. Just want to thank you for being a big part of my life now. No problem. Your videos are amazing. I also learned a lot of new stuff in your walkthroughs that I didn't know before. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, Michelle. No problemo. Thank you so much for sending this. And uh, let's see what this uh, second letter is. Uh, and also the picture that me sent. Eh, the picture that she sent me. Can't even talk. Is um of me <laughs> or of uh, my icon and uh, my logo, which I think. I think this is from my outro, actually, because um, I think it's the only place where I have my icon and my, like, logo laid out like that, so I think this has to be from my outro. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, anyways, I'm, like, delaying reading the letter. It says, Hey, Matt, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could sign this and send this picture back. Hope you don't mind I use your logo. I thought it would be awesome, or I thought it would be an awesome pic to have signed by you. Uh, sure, no problem. Quick question though, do you want me to sign the front of it or the back of it? Because um, I don't know what you plan on doing, like if you want to like put it in a frame or something or maybe just like have it, you may might not want me to sign the front of it, uh, in which case I'll sign the back. So uh, hit me up on Twitter or let me know in the comments where you want me to sign that and I will sign it and uh, send it off to you ASAP. Alright, so, oh, oh. That, this just fell out of the next letter, so this is a uh, Yoshi Egg Perler. Uh, that's pretty cool, and this is by Garrett Henry, so thank you so much for the Perler, that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm sure there's more to this than just that. Yeah, there's a letter, and it uh, looks like a picture, so of course, let's start with the letter. It says, Matt, hi, my name is Garrett, and I'm 15 years old. Your videos are great, I've been catching up on your walkthroughs since I got out of summer, or out of school for summer break. Thanks to you, I've gone back into Nintendo. I hope you will always do videos. Also, I'm glad you're doing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Could you please autograph the print I sent you? The reason I did not do a picture is because I'm not a great of an or I'm not that great of an artist. Thanks, Garrett. Dude, no problem, Garrett. Alright, so the print that he sent me is actually a picture of Link on the King of Red Lions sailing the ocean blue. So uh, yeah, I will definitely send that back to you as soon as I can. I'm assuming you want me to sign it down here, so I will do that and uh, get that in the mail. What do you want me to do with the Perler? Um, I'm assuming this is like for me, so 
if you don't want it back, I'm gonna keep it because, I mean, I think Perlers are pretty cool, so thank you so much for saying that, but uh, let me know if you want this back or not. Anyways, let me make sure I can keep all this stuff together and not, like, get everything disorganized. Alright, so next letter is by Trenton Bell, I believe, and it looks like it is just a letter. Also, it's double-sided, so uh, let's start with the front, which I believe is this side. Hello, my name is Trenton. I am writing to tell you that you are the best YouTuber. How I found you was when I was looking, uh, or when I was in the Fire Temple in Ocarina of Time. And then I was like, this guy's amazing at Zelda, and you are my favorite YouTuber. So, Matt, stay cool and keep making the great videos. Your biggest fan, Trenton. And on the back it says, uh, P.S. Please send back and sign. Sorry for the bad handwriting. Dude, your handwriting is not even that bad, but uh, I will totally sign this and send this back to you. And I guess uh, you want me to sign it right here because you left like a gap open uh, for me to do that. So, yeah, I will definitely send that back to you, Trent. Don't you worry. Okay, so, next letter is by Ronnie. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a lot, actually. There's... Seems to be a lot of stuff in here. There are, uh, looks like a drawing, looks like another drawing actually, and I think this is the letter. So, yeah, this is dated August 3rd, 2016. Uh, hi Matt. Just want to thank you for the hard work you put into your videos. I've been watching your videos for about two years and enjoyed every one. I've sent two pictures that I have drawn. If you would sign one of your choice and the other you can keep. Uh, thank you again for your wonderful effort and your family friendliness. Sincerely, Ronnie. Dude, no problem. Alright, so let's look at these drawings that you sent, because, uh, they look pretty cool. So, let's start with this one. Um, I actually don't know what this is. I think that's, like, the Gerudo symbol right in the center there. Hopefully you guys can, uh, get a better look at that. But I'm not really sure what this is a drawing. You know, I feel kind of bad, too, because if it's something from Zelda, I should definitely know what it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see, maybe this one will give us some context. This one actually is a drawing of Deku Link from Majora's Mask, so that's actually really, really cool and well done. Um, so you said I could keep one. I'm gonna keep the Deku Link, uh, hope you don't mind, and I will definitely sign this one, uh, this one, and send it back to you. Also, could you let me know what this is in the comments? I feel bad that I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Like, it looks kind of familiar, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, but thank you so much for the drawings and the letter, Ronnie. I appreciate it, and I will send, uh, that drawing back to you as soon as I possibly can. Alright, so let me just put that back in the envelope so I don't lose it. And we'll move on to the next letter, which is by Raycaster, which I think is a username that I recognize from the comments. Also, there's a little Triforce on the back of the envelope here. Uh, looks like there's a couple of things in here, so... Um, there is a Rayquaza EX Pokemon card. Uh, looks like there's a drawing here. And the letter itself that says Matt on it. So let's check this out first, shall we? Uh, sorry about the bad handwriting. Don't worry about it, dude. It says, Dear Matt, uh, your videos are so awesome. I started watching your videos when I got stuck in Dodongo's Cavern and Ocarina of Time. All I had to do was drop the bombs and the skull eyes. Don't worry, man. A lot of people got stuck there. And after that, I started watching all your videos. Your Let's Plays are awesome. I hope that I can meet you one day. You're the best. A few questions. What's your favorite board game? Uh, believe it or not, Clue is actually my favorite board game. What's your favorite soda? Vanilla Coke. Uh, what is your favorite Mario game? Hmm, maybe Mario 3 or Mario World, I would say. And uh, he says, I would send you my ocarina, but I think it might break in the mail. Uh, thanks for the gesture, but uh, I'm not really interested in a used ocarina since you kind of have to, like, use your mouth to play that item. So I wouldn't want to buy, like, a secondhand or use the secondhand ocarina, but thank you so much for, for the offer. Uh, so I'll send you my Majora's Mask picture I drew. Sorry I'm bad at drawing, probably better than thing I could do. Uh, the picture has been in my room on my wall for a couple of years. Also, can you sign my Pokemon with Crazy EX card and send it back to me? Uh, can you sign over the Pokeball on it? Thanks. Uh, keep up the amazing work, I look forward to your next Let's Play. No pro- oh, and he says, uh, P.S. Can you play Oracle of Ages? I'm stuck. <laughs> P.P.S. Love, <laughs> love your work, Matt. Uh, everyone wants me to play the Oracle games, but I really, really don't want to. But, um, in fact, I already did sign your Pokemon card right there on the back over the Pokeball, so, uh, I will send that back to you. Hopefully this is not, like, your prized possession, because I feel kind of bad that I've held on to this for basically a month now, but, uh, I will send that back to you. Also, he sent me a drawing of Majora's Mask, and hey, that's actually not even bad, so look at that, man. Nice Majora's Mask drawing by, uh, oh, it's Keycaster, not Raycaster, sorry, the, uh, the name got smudged a little bit on the actual letter itself, so the tops of the K, I thought they were, uh, combining to form an R, so that's Keycaster, my bad. 
Sorry that I mispronounced your name, but um, yeah, so thank you so much for the drawing, and I will get your Pokemon card uh, back out to you as soon as I can, and thank you for the kind words. Alright, so next is um, a letter by, there is no name on it actually, although I do know who it's from because I've already opened it up, but um, this is actually a birthday card. For those of you who are unaware, uh, my birthday is actually on August 28th, I don't really advertise it, but uh, here's a birthday card, it says, Here's wishing you a happy birthday, filled with joy, cake, balloons, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, and by the way, that's what the card says, I'm not being rude, uh, and then it says, whoops, hang on. Uh, and I meant that in the sincerest way possible. Happy birthday, Matt, from Maxin. So this is actually from uh, one of my Patreon supporters, Maxin and his mother, Kim, um, have been supporting me on Patreon since I started, and uh, they're probably some of the most kind people that I've ever talked to because they're incredibly generous, and um, Max's mother has offered to help, uh, you know, proofread the script for the documentary and stuff like that. And on top of supporting me on Patreon every month, they also sent a uh, $20 gift card to Chipotle, which I probably will use to buy lunch uh, tomorrow. So thank you guys so much. Like, you've been incredibly kind and generous to me, and I, I don't know that I can ever I express my my thanks to you in words just because it, it, it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much again for this. It was definitely something that I didn't expect and uh, it, it made my day when I got it, so thank you so much. All right, so last but not least, we have a letter by Christian Pale. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it looks like we have a letter and a drawing. So let's start with the letter, of course. It says, hey Matt, I just wanna say, hi, I've been watching your channel for two years. I started watching when my mom was in the hospital. I was playing Ocarina of Time 3D. I got stuck on some temple that I can't remember. Somehow I just stumbled upon your channel and I've been watching ever since. One year after I started watching your channel, my mom passed away. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I was out of school for two weeks. Your channel helped me get past the worst of it. Thanks a million, Matt. P.S. You can read this on the video, it's okay, and please show the picture. Dude, thank you so much for sending me this, because... Letters like this mean a lot to me. Um, I can't imagine what you must have gone through, and it might have even been hard for you to write this letter and send it to me, but... It really does mean a lot, because... There are, like, you know, days where I'm not sort of at my best, you know, where um, I'm questioning myself and I'm questioning what I'm doing on YouTube and really if the, the silly gaming videos that I make every day are, are making a difference or really, or if they really matter, you know, and uh, I, sometimes I get comments like, hey Matt, I was having a bad day and this video really helped cheer me up or I get a letter like this and these are the things that when I'm not at my best, I can look to, I can go back and read and it really just... It helps put everything in perspective for me and it makes me realize that even though what I'm doing online isn't the hardest thing in the world, isn't the most creative thing in the world, and, and sometimes I might feel like I'm, you know, in a rut, but it does have an effect on people and it, it's just cool to, to have that come back a little bit, you know, like me having an effect on somebody and someone, you know, writing me something like this that then has an effect on me and I think it's really, really cool. So thank you so much for sending me this letter. Um, it, it truly does mean a lot to me and much love to you, man. I, I'm, I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. It's something that I wouldn't wish on anybody, but thank you so much for um, sending me that letter. And I don't know, I think, I think it's cool that we've had this little community now where uh, people can impact other people in this little tiny community that we have and, and sort of make a difference to at least someone else's life for the better, hopefully. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to end off this video. And I think that's where I'm going to end off this video. So, uh, thank you guys so much again for sending me this mail. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.